up everyone? You got Dan from Musky Fool here. Today we're talking the business end of musky fly fishing. Hooks, shanks, the platform. How do you choose it? What options do you have? And where can you have some confidence? I think a big thing when picking the platform is having confidence in it. There's a lot of different options. Hooks, shanks, combo of the two. What are some that you can trust? And what are maybe some to steer away from? A good thing to think about as it relates to your hook and platform selection is what type of fly are you trying to tie? What are you looking to get out of that fly? What action are you trying to achieve? Because that is going to drive a lot of the factor between the hooks and the shanks that you pick. And lastly, we'll talk about it throughout the video, but the heavy metal factor. Muskie like to break things. They like to bend hooks. There's a lot of options out there that might be big enough hooks, but not strong enough metal. So everything we're talking about today, heavy metal approved. It's got the heavy metal factor. And uh, you know, with the right tension on your line and rod, you should not run into any issues breaking, bending, or busting up these hooks. So first off, we're gonna talk about some brand new hooks from Airex. We're really excited by a lot of these. First and foremost, we got the new Beast Fly series, SA290, SA292, designed by Bob Popovics and the folks at Airex. Really sweet. This is probably the most excited we've been about a hook, a new hook in a long time. Heavy duty, stainless, saltwater grade, really thick, thick metal, micro barb, and uh, a little bit of a stinger bend to that hook. So this is a great option as a single hook, articulated flies. We're also really liking this as the rear fly to our big shank split ring flies. Uh, we'll talk about that as well. So really good option. This is the SA290 and 292. You have a long shank option, which we have here. And then you have the standard shank option, which we have here. These come in a variety of sizes, 8 aught to 4 aught, so really for the big stuff, worth checking out. The other one, it's been out for a little bit, but also relatively new, the Bob Clouser Signature Hook. A little bit more of an Aberdeen bend, but same type of metal, saltwater grade. And this one goes, I believe, from uh, 5 aught all the way to number 4. Lots of good options. We, uh, the 5 aughts and the 3 aughts, really good for musky big predator hooks. So those are a couple of the new ones that we're excited about. As far as some classics that we often use quite a bit from Airex, I think the most popular hook we sell, the most popular hook we probably all tie with, I know Mark Burns ties with this, on a lot of his urban fly uh, patterns, the PR320. 6 aught especially is a really good hook. Um, long shank, a little bit thinner wire, then your saltwater grade, clouser, and beast fly hooks, but still heavy metal, heavy metal approved. <laughs> Thick enough for musky. A little smaller hook gap with a really uh, a more aggressive stinger bend, and these are, these are really sticky. So especially for doubles or singles where you're tying in line with the hooks, this is a great option, especially uh, when you wanna ride stuff a little bit higher up in the water column. PR320, great option. A couple others that we use quite a bit that you're probably familiar with, you got the TP610 and 612. These are the Trout Predator hooks. The 610 is your standard shank length. 612 is a little bit shorter. Similar wire diameter to the PR320. This is just a little bit wider hook gap with a traditional Aberdeen bend. Whether you're you know, using this as a single to put dragon tails off the back, uh, the rear hook, front hook of a game changer, these are, these are a really good option. And they go all the way down into trout sizes. So I believe these are all the way down to number four on the trout predators. So good option there for streamers of all sizes, trout, bass, especially musky. And a couple others from Airex. We got a jig streamer. Not a ton of options out there for good jig streamers, especially in the musky sizes. We got the PR374, which is your 60 degree bend. And then you have your PR370, which I believe is a 45 degree bend. So those are really good river pig style, lead, you know, single, some articulated as well. These are the, the hooks that you want to use for a lot of those patterns. Similar steel diameter, wire diameter to the PR320 and the TP610 series. So that's a little bit of our favorites from Airex. There are a few more, but those are the heavy hitters. I think in 99% of our musky flies, you're gonna, you're gonna see um, some of those hooks. Next up, we got Gamagatsu. Uh, two really good hooks from Gamagatsu that have been around for a while, kind of the classics. You got the spinnerbait hook, which I got right here. Comes in a variety of sizes up to, I believe, five aught. 25 hooks a pack, which is pretty nice. Long, long shanks, 
in an Aberdeen style bend. Um, so lots of different patterns that you can use this for. The other hook that is probably one of the most popular hooks, especially from Gamagatsu, the B10S. No surprises, we've all probably tied with that if you've tied flies before, especially predator flies. Comes in a ton of different sizes, all the way up to five aught. Lots of hooks per pack, and really tried and true. A Little bit thinner wire than some of the other hooks we've talked about, but it, it does the job, whether you're using it as a single, articulating, attaching it to split rings. In doubt, B10S is a great option to go with. Couple others Kona it's been releasing more and more on the predator side of things we got two really good options here the BGH the big game hunter and the big game carnivore a little bit different the big game carnivore we'll start with first that is similar style to that trout predator hook Aberdeen band thicker wire you know pretty average not an extended shank length really good for single flies double flies has that extra wide hook gap from that Aberdeen bend as well really really solid hook um, for a lot of different of your staples in musky fishing. As for the BGH, the Big Game Hunter, much shorter shank and a little bit more of a, a stinger bend to it. This is a really solid hook for rear or uh, front hooks in your game changers. So if you're putting a hook up front, if you're going with double hooks, you can layer in two of these. That shorter shank is perfect for embedding into your game changer platform. And then one other option on the hook front, we got one from Umqua. We got the X series, this is the XS506, and we like this because it offers that vertical eye jig hook, which is kind of rare, rare and rare these days. Um, there's a few other options out there, but this is one of the best. Four aught is the biggest size, goes all the way down to smaller sizes, so you can cover your trout need, smallmouth needs, whatever it may be, pike. But the four aught XS506, really good hook for any river pig, lead eye applications. So that's really the, the big stuff on hooks. I think a lot of the time you, um, you know, if you're tying single patterns, a single hook logically is, is where you're gonna gravitate around. As we bulk up and start to add multiple hooks to the equation, double hook patterns, articulated patterns, we're naturally going to be bringing in uh, shanks and ways to connect these hooks. So first and foremost, doing a double hook platform doesn't necessarily have to be these hooks, but I just had them in front of me. We want two hooks in our fly. A great way to connect those is by using some of these shanks. So we have uh, three styles of shanks. We have the original Flyman Big Game shank. Those are available only at Muskie Fool in two more sizes until they're sold out. We have the brand new articulated uh, next generation shanks also from Flyman. Variety of sizes, tail sections, jig applications. And then we have the build it your own. But first we're going to get into just using the shanks, connect hooks in your fly pattern. So as opposed to using articulation wire, which I believe is is much more prone to breaking, bending. I like to connect, if I'm using a double hook platform, I like to connect that rear hook with the shank. So this is an 80 mil big game shank from Flyman. I'm gonna tie that right in. You can use the groove of the shank to tie it in alongside the shank of the hook. I'm gonna latch that down, lots of thread and glue, and that's gonna create that bend off the back. Obviously, before I latch that all closed, I'm gonna loop in my back hook, and I can adjust the length. I can use a shorter shank if I need to. But overall, that's gonna give me the most reliable platform for this style of fly. Again, I don't have to worry about flexible wire bending, breaking, getting fouled. This keeps it really smooth and is really durable. The other benefit is because it's heavy duty, stiff wire, you can actually start to bend this wire as well and use that to adjust some of the components of your platform, whether you want it to you know, bend in an arc shape or have some wonky motion to it. You know, As we start to size up from single patterns, not just hooks anymore, we start to add in some shanks. As we get into the shanks themselves, we'll just show the favorites that we use. Again, we don't have all the sizes here, but these are offered in a variety of sizes. You have the old big game shank and then you have the new packaging a new style of shank. A couple differences. So the old one I have here is a little bit thicker wire than the new one, but not to uh, not at the expense of durability. So what they've done with that old shank is they've bent the ends on these open loops right to about the center point with what feels like 051 wire. With the new shanks, they've sized down in the wire diameter, but they've bent those butt ends all the way three overlapping pieces of wire there to create a really sturdy and round platform to tie on so you can close that up with your thread wraps. Another feature that they added was a little bit different end section. So you have more of the traditional loop and then you have this almost triangular shape at the back um, for your shank. These are offered in a ton of sizes. You got six millimeter all the way up to 80 millimeter and several in between. So lots of different options when you start constructing your own shanks. And lastly, we have the, the musky fool shanks that we sell. We sell them in packs. We got 051, 045, I believe. These are gonna be uh, with a closed loop at 
one end, so that's twisted shut, and then it's gonna be blank on the other end. About 12 inches, nice thick wire, and these can be used for all sorts of things. This is the same wire they're using to make Plyman shanks, so you can make your own shanks. Let's say you want something a little bit longer, a little bit bigger. This is also the, the base material we're using for any split ring flies, flies that will you know, have the loop within the shank to attach a hook via a split ring. This is how you're gonna, this is your base material and you're gonna use a tool to bend that split ring in. Probably have a video in the future about how to do that. Until then, no, this is the product you want. I know that, for instance, with this shank, I can tie one huge 16 inch fly. I'll use the front half, front two thirds for the, the front shank. I'll cut that off and then I'll bend an articulated shank in the back here using the, the leftover materials. Just need a couple different tools, concave jeweler's plier, cutter or wire cutter, both of which we'll link in the bio and you can, you can bend away with all sorts of shanks. So that's really it folks. Wanted to cover the basics, hooks, shanks, the metal, as we said, the business end. Again, everything here we, we trust uh, in our flies, in our patterns for muskie and big pike. You have sharp, usually chemically sharpened hooks, micro barbs that you can keep or crimp down, and a bunch of heavy metal shanks. <laughs> that are gonna really be tried and true for anything you're tying from Muskie. If you got any questions, you know where to find us, muskiefool.com or at the shop, call, email. We'd love to help, we'd love to chat. That's all, be sure to hit the like button at the bottom of this video if you wanna see more like this. We greatly appreciate the support. Until next time, folks. Cheerio, until next time, folks. Why did I say cheerio?